Right, we've got the dry cell again. Set up with, just for a quick count, one, two, three, four, five neutral plates. And uh, now I found myself a nice little reservoir tank, courtesy of General Motors, a Vauxhall Corsa expansion tank. Three outlet tank, you've got one outlet which is larger on the bottom which goes to the supply side of the cell. The return pipe goes to the top of the, top of the chamber and then the third comes out to my bubbler. The beauty of this little tank is in the cap in the cap in there there's a little valve so if this tank pulls a if the tank pulls a vacuum it will actually draw air past the seal on the cap to vent the tank with a bit of luck not sucking the water in from the bubbler but I'm yet to prove that so the tank is very easy to top up with a screw top so uh, that's the new setup to get away from my bucket. <laughs> I've done a litre per minute test on the cell as well. Um, at code, it was drawing 13 and a half amps, 14.3 volts, and I've done one litre in 60 seconds. I've just redone the test. It's at 47 degrees C. It's drawing. 16.7 amps showing 17.2 because it was a few minutes ago I'd done the test uh, it was drawing 14 amps and I'd done one litre in 50 seconds which is quite quite good but the cells more productive when it's cold at the moment <laughs>